Tonight, marine experts are wrapping up efforts to find what killed the latest beached whale, the second in a week. The work is said to be very labor intensive. NOAA tells Allison Basil they're handling the examination of the endangered species with extra care. For most of the day, crews performed a necropsy on an endangered North Atlantic right whale after it washed ashore Sunday near Aries on the Bay in Virginia Beach. Just three miles down the shore, crews wrapped a similar investigation six days ago, burying a humpback whale by First Landing State Park. The back-to-back -back whale deaths in Virginia Beach are leaving people in the community with questions. I'm still processing this one that I just couldn't believe that we're having this again in less than a week. Today, a team of about 30 researchers examined every inch of the North Atlantic right whale. You know, see it up close. This is the fourth whale to die in Virginia this year, according to NOAA officials. It is fascinating, um, but it is heartbreaking to see them on the beach. NOAA Director of Protected Resources Kim Damon Randall says with only 350 North Atlantic right whales left in the world, this examination process is critical. They are very endangered, uh, so this is a really unique opportunity to learn more about what's happening to them. So far, she says crews determined the whale is a 20-year-old, 43-foot male that likely died a few days before washing ashore. In general, these animals are not living long enough to die of natural causes. It's, it's usually a human-induced cause like vessel strikes or entanglement. Officials say the lab results take time, but spectators like Amanda Burnside are eager to find out what happened. That's probably what made us more curious to come down here and take a look at it because, I mean, who knows what they're going to find. In Virginia Beach, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Crews will bury the whale on the beach by the dunes at Aries on the Bay.